beating gracefully at the edge of the water with its sharp, pointed beak. The heron is a family of long-legged birds that can be found in many different climates all over the planet. It is exceptionally well adapted for the environment in which it lives. This also means the heron is highly sensitive to any disruptions in its native habitat. The heron is a solitary predator with a highly territorial streak, but some species come together in large colonies consisting of more than a hundred birds for the breeding season. The heron has several different calls to express surprise and alarm or to identify other members of the species. Some herons develop all manner of elaborate plumages and crests for attracting females in the breeding season. These birds are endemic to freshwater wetlands, lakes, and ponds all over the world. Although most common in the tropics, it is found in almost every single region except for the driest deserts, the tallest mountains, and the frigid Arctic and Antarctic. The scientific name of the heron family is Ardeati. This is derived from the Latin word for the heron, Ardea. There are more than 60 species in this family, but some of these species are egrets and bitterns instead of true herons. The biological differences between the heron and egret are fairly minimal, besides the fact that egrets have a wider appearance, especially in the breeding season. They can even occur in the same genus together. These birds are a highly diverse family with all kinds of unique color schemes and appearances, including black, gray, blue, yellow, and much more. The most common and prominent characteristic is its very long neck, crooked in the middle to resemble an S shape, which helps to support the heavy bill and head. When the heron takes flight, its head curves back against the body, and the feet dangle down. Few other birds fly in this manner. Other prominent characteristics of the bird include the large wings, the big, sharp bill, and the exceptionally long legs to wade in the water. Part of the body is covered in a fine powder, created as a result of disintegrating feathers, which enables the bird to clean itself. This is a large bird, usually measuring between 1 and 5 feet tall. The largest species, the Goliath heron, eclipses all others in size. It stands up to 5 feet tall and has a wingspan of 7 feet and 7 inches. There are three main types, each with its own distinct anatomy and social behavior. The day herons, which include the great blue, the black headed, the gray, and the goliath heron, feed during the day with their long necks stretched out into the water. The night herons, which include the black-crowned night heron and the yellow-crowned night heron, feed at night with their short legs and thicker bills. The tiger herons, which include just six species, are solitary birds with striped plumage that resemble a tiger. Most of these reside in Central or South America. These are highly nomadic birds, moving from place to place as circumstances dictate. The distance over which it will travel depends on the climate of its normal breeding grounds. Southern populations reside in a similar place all year round, while the northernmost populations tend to move south for the winter where the water will not freeze over and prevent them from feeding. The great blue heron, for instance, will travel between southern Canada and the southern United States or even Central America. Given its wide distribution across the world, these birds have a very eclectic diet. There are generally two types of feeding strategies. The generalist, which feeds on whatever happens to be available, or the specialist, which feeds on a very specific set of prey. Either way, it plays a vital role in controlling prey populations. Given their massive range, most species are currently classified as least concern by the IUCN Red List and require no special conservation efforts. But a few, in particular, are endangered or critically endangered, 
including the white-bellied heron of the Himalayas and the Madagascar pond heron. Island-specific night heron from Mauritius, Bermuda, and elsewhere have already been driven to extinction shortly after they were discovered. More often than not, the bird is threatened by the loss and degradation of wetland habitat. Reproductive strategies tend to vary by species, but generally, in the breeding season, the male attracts a single mate with an impressive courtship display in which he ruffles his plumage and flies around. Once the female has chosen an appropriate mate, the pair produces up to seven eggs at a time. After an incubation period lasting for several weeks, the chicks emerge from the eggs with undeveloped bodies. Both parents put a significant amount of time into the care of their young to ensure they grow properly. They share incubation, nest construction, and feeding duties. The largest chicks tend to receive the most food from the parents since they are the most likely to survive. It usually takes anywhere between two and three months before the chicks grow their full flight feathers and become more independent. Many of these chicks won't survive their first year of life, but those that do usually live up to 15 or 20 years in the wild.